Mitsubishi. My name's Josh and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2016 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. Starting out the front, I'm going to walk you through some of the features and the actual overall condition of the vehicle. As you can see, being the GLX model, you do get that plastic front grille with the Mitsubishi badging right in the middle there. It does stand out quite nicely against the black grille and considering it is fully set up for the work environment, paintwork actually presents in really good condition. All the way at the front, uh, even if I am trying to be picky, there's almost no stone chips at all. It's in really good condition for a GLX model. Got those nice large headlights there with the black interior, which does look stunning, and those orange indicators built in there as well. First steel wheel, obviously steel wheels are more beneficial for the work site. Get a bit scratched up, you're not going to be too bothered about it, but the wheel itself is in good condition. Still plenty of tread in the tires as well. Got plastic side mirrors and door handles. Now, side mirrors, not surprising because that's what they're made for. There is a couple of little scratches on them, but not really too concerning uh, seeing a few scratches on a plastic mirror. We've also got the indicator built into the quarter panel there as well. Quickly open up the door and have a look on the inside. The the seat bolsters are all in really good condition. Scuff plates on the floors, once again, really good condition. A little bit of wear there from where people get in and out of the car, but once again, it's a work vehicle, not too concerning. And the doors themselves, uh, where people get lazy and actually kick the doors open, there are very minimal scuff there, scuffs there as well. On the tray in the back, as you can see, nice big tray being the single cab. You've got tie down points all the way along the bottom of the tray and I do believe it is an alloy tray looking at how minimal or no rust there is on the inside. Quickly open it up just to show you how easy it is just to drop down the uh, drop down all four sides so to unlock the back drop that down and then drop the sides down so easy access all the way around the car if you if you needed it. Close that back up quickly The tray itself is actually in really good condition, so uh, very well looked after for a GLX. We have got a Heyman Reese tow bar down the bottom uh, with your spare wheel mounted just under there as well. Now, on the back here, uh, not really too much to point out except that there is actually very minimal damage there. So, usually with trays like this, people tend to be a little less careful and back into things, but I can't actually see any evidence of that on the back here at all, which is a really, really good sign. That next wheel, once again, really good condition for a steel wheel, and plenty of tread left in the tire. The diesel fuel filler cap is on this side, and you do need the key to be able to actually open that. Keep making our way down, especially for a GLX. I'm actually very impressed with how well the paintwork on this vehicle does present. The side mirrors, once again, a couple of minor scuffs, but nothing overly concerning. Paintwork is in remarkable condition. That next alloy wheel, sorry, next steel wheel, once again, completely unmarked. What we're going to do now is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. You can look under the bonnet now. What we have is a four-cylinder, 2.4-liter turbo diesel engine. The vehicle itself does have a five-speed automatic gearbox. ANCAP safety rating is five stars, which is amazing for a single cab. Power output is 133 kilowatts with a torque rating of 430 newton meters. Diesel fuel tank holds 75 liters and gives you a combined fuel consumption of about 7.3 liters per 100 and an average fuel distance, depending on your driving style, depending what you're towing, of about 1,027 kilometers from the full tank. You can look inside the Triton now. On the driver's side door, you do get your power window controls. Front driver's side is automatic up and down. Well, driver's side, there isn't a front or back. Anyways, on the right hand side here, you've got the toggle for your power mirrors and just on the right hand side of the steering wheel, there is also a traction control button with three blank buttons if you wanted to add anything extra. On the right hand stalk, we've got indicators and headlight controls and on the left hand stalk, all your washer and wiper controls. Now the steering wheel itself, even for a vinyl steering wheel, it is actually in really good condition, so very minimal wear. You've got your cruise control and speed limiter controls on the right and all your media and hands-free controls on the left. Now if we pan into the middle quickly, you will see it is all hard buttons for your radio, but you have got your AM and FM radio. You've also got a USB input and hands-free um, Bluetooth as well. Below that, you've got your, clamp, your air conditioning controls, so fan speed, vents, and temperature. And down here again, your USB input, 
a cigarette lighter and a little bit of storage if you wanted to keep your phone just there while it's plugged in. Now the shifter itself, if you bring it down into drive and bump it to the right, it is sport mode or you can just uh, switch through the gears manually so that the car is not changing gears for you. Back here, two cup holders and a hard handbrake and that center console if you open it up. Um, as you can see, you do get two sections to it, so this part does come out or just folds up if you wanted to, but there is a 12 volt socket in there as well. Now, there isn't much of the interior to pan around, but if we do quickly pan around the dash, you will notice that it is in good condition, so no cracks and minimal wear um, all throughout the interior of this vehicle. Thank you so much for taking the time out of the day to watch the walk around video on this beautiful Triton. As you can see, it is in remarkable condition for its age. Something I would highly recommend you take advantage of is the premium mechanical protection plan. Now that's gonna give you another five years on top of your new car warranty of cover on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle. It will also give you up to 10 years of platinum roadside assistance with up to 200,000 kilometers of nationwide cover. Now it is awesome value, so if you are considering buying this vehicle for work, please protect yourself and take advantage of that offer because even though it is an additional cost, if you're using our in-house finance, Julie or Mario would love to show you just how minimal the change in your repayments would be with that plan included in it. Now, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact us. But before I go, have a look at our Google reviews. 4.8 stars with over a thousand reviews from customers Australia wide. The people enjoy dealing with us. We make the process easy. We like to ensure that you are buying a good quality vehicle from the right people. So once again, the number is 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.